planet Earth, 66 million years ago. This is one of the largest flying reptiles of prehistory, called Quetzalcoatlus, who has to face others to preserve his lineage. Southern Africa. Here, too, the annual rains create floods. And the land turns into a maze of narrow channels running between countless small islands. This is now a swamp forest. And it attracts one of the largest flying animals that has ever lived on planet Earth. A giant pterosaur. Quetzalcoatlus. This is a female. Her wings are over 30 feet across. And she's come here for one particular reason. The small islands created by the rising waters are just a place for her to lay her eggs. Quetzalcoatlus are certainly masters of flight. But they're also, perhaps surprisingly, very competent on the ground. Each wing is supported by the single greatly elongated bone of her fourth finger. By turning her wings upwards, she can walk very effectively on all fours. She's come here to make a nest. She chooses to do so on damp, swampy soil that will prevent her soft-shelled eggs from drying out. These first two are just the start. For the next three weeks, she will guard the open nest and add two more eggs every few days. Producing eggs takes a lot of effort and energy. Each one is huge, weighing around a kilo. Eventually, she produces a clutch of a dozen or so. She covers them with vegetation to conceal them. Now, she needs to eat. There should be enough food on this island to sustain her youngsters when they hatch. But there's nothing substantial enough here to satisfy her own hunger. She must leave to hunt for prey elsewhere, and trust that the isolation of her nest will keep her unhatched young safe while she's away. Another, much older Quetzalcoatlus female. She, too, is looking for a safe place to lay her eggs. And there may not be enough food here for two sets of giant nestlings. But there is a way to solve that problem. And eggs, after all, are very nutritious. The owner of the nest is back. The older female is driven off. But the younger female's nest is wrecked. Out of the dozen eggs that she laid, only three have survived. The success of her breeding season now rests on these three fragile eggs. She will protect them as best she can until they hatch in a few months time. But after that, her young will have to fend for themselves. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to continue receiving videos like this. Have a great day.